Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 18 of Let's Platinum Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. Alright, um, so apparently I'm still in mission mode and I kind of noticed it last time, but I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do. Um, like I can't, you can see restart mission, return to title menu, checkpoint. Um, let's see, is there any way I can check? Hang on, delivery point, that's the target practice, delivery point. Another target practice. Let's try this. Um, this is a delivery point. This is not going to be it, but let me just try something. So if I place the marker there, and then I go here. You have at your now, how do I do it? I would go. Wait, is it? Oh, I don't have it equipped. Whoops. <laughs> what is it telling me here? Uh, no, nothing important. Alright, no, I don't have the cardboard box. Um, Alright, let's just talk to people. Hang on. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And he enjoys that. Oops, I didn't mean to... <laughs> That's ridiculous. What am I supposed to do? Alright, let me think. What did I do? Malak. I rescued Malak. So where is Malak? He's got to be somewhere. They have two four-wheel drives there. Medical. Oh, he's at medical, right? That's where he would be. Alright, um, let's go to medical. Uh, wait, which way is medical? <laughs> the other way, of course it is. We. Okay, let's have a look. Hmm. Seems really odd, why would... Because, like, I tried calling a helicopter and everything and it doesn't work. Let's see. Yeah. Oh. Please select a landing zone. Oh. Maybe it does work. Landing zone confirmed. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Whoops. Fully trained and ready for action. Hey. I did it. Go. D dog is ready. For deployment. He's even got the little eye patch. But his eye should be fine. <laughs> so epic. He's going with you. It's weird, I did finish the mission, I got the S rank. Hmm. Oh well, doesn't matter, looks like everything is sorted now. <sighs> she got a trophy for this. Cry Havoc. Equipment for D-Dog can now be developed. Alright, let's, yeah, let's do some development while we, uh... What do you call? After holding up an enemy, you can neutralize them completely by forcing them to the ground to do so. Interrogate the enemy you're holding up and select get down. I didn't see that. Hmm. All right. Explain what D Dog can do as your buddy. All right, go ahead. That nose of his, he can sniff out and mark nearby enemies and prisoners. Should come in handy for infiltrating outposts. I trained him to detect mines and medicinal plants too. When he locates something, check your map. Okay. Let's see what our daily bonus is today. It is. I think it's MB coins from what I read. Yeah. Which I worked out, or I found out that they're to do with like online stuff, so nothing too important. Alright, let's see what we can develop for the D Dog. This is for the horse. Anything new? Nope. Need more, yeah, stuff like that. D Dog. 
Okay, so I need electro spinning and two more. Do it, knock out, do it, wound enemy. Interesting. Okay, so there's stuff that I can do, but I haven't got enough yet. I've got good money, but I don't have the, the rest. Uh, let's develop anything here. Yeah, I wanted to develop this, the, what is that? Night vision goggles. High sen highly sensitive night vision gear that augments sight for better situational awareness in low light. Batteries charged by kinetic energy generated by the user's natural motion, su supplemented by solar power. So light amplif amplification up one, exposure correction up one, thermal detection up one. All right, let's get that, because that could be useful. Uh, flare grenade, I'm still not really keen on this because um, I mean, it costs so little, but I probably won't use it, so let's just put it. And I'll equip it just in case. Flare supply. Uh, okay, so that's just to get more. I guess we'll keep going. Cheap. Oh, is that a silence pistol? It is a silence pistol. Okay. It's got a decent suppressor. Alright, I'm going to leave the rest for now. I want to get um, this stuff in helicopter because this uh, reduces the dispatch time and that's really good. Enhancement, oh, okay, didn't know that there was a trophy for that. Apparently there is. Okay, and you can get it even faster if I can double my R&D and support level, so I'll do that eventually. All this rockets and stuff like that are locked for the time being because I don't have the requirements. Did I unlock, wait, it says four. Did I get some new stuff? Oh, here. Uh, decoy, active decoy, flare grenade. Oh, okay, yeah. It's this, but I can't actually make it. And the cardboard box. Uh, what else? Oh, it was this that I unlocked. Okay. Alright, so that's it for development. Uh, staff management, I guess, can stay the same for the time being. My combat unit is pretty large at the moment. I need to upgrade some, like, increase. So, where are my resources? Like, how do I know how much I have? It's really annoying. Let's do combat platform. And apparently I have enough, so I'm going to do this one too. Oh, there we go. There's my resources. Alright, what do I need for this? Thousand... Medical is big too. What's this one for? Alright, we'll do R&D. And this one here too. And I guess we'll do this too. <laughs> we may as well do what we can do. I don't think there's any reason to hold back on that. Alright, now... Okay, I've still got that mission. And I think I will be doing that today. Let me just have a look at this combat deployment. Should be nearly done. Or... Did I even send one? Maybe not. Do they actually decrease? Let's see, there's three Ds at the bottom. So if I do this, then the next one, it should still have three Ds at the bottom, but they should be on screen. So let's try to find that out. Oh, there was a blueprint. Yeah, a blueprint for that one. ZF. 100% chance for getting that. Whoa, 32% chance to get 5,000 common metal. That's pretty good. All right, 21 minutes. So that's going to be a while. That'll probably be the next episode that you guys see. Oh, well, you'll see it in the next episode. Hmm, do I want to do... Oh, make contact with the Emmerich. Is this an important side up? It is. I kind of want to do that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do... Wait, let me see. One... Oh, I did that one. Two... Three... Four... None of them are really that close. I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm going to do this. Let's do it. Let's see what this it's. I think it's a good idea to sort of start with um, some. What do you call? Not that one. Yeah, I do have the cardboard box. Interesting. Maybe I was looking at the wrong thing. Interesting. Uh, I think it's a good idea to start with. If I'm using the D Dog, you know, it's my first time using him. I'll use it on the side up instead of a main mission. Uh, with an interpreter skill will allow for simultaneous interpretation of their language in the area of operations presented in the form of subtitles to interrogate enemy soldiers. You must have interpretation support for the language they speak. 
Oh yeah, well, <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Try and like, where are they? Uh, spit it out. <laughs> they don't understand. Three fifty-nine in the morning. Perfect time to start. That means the sun's gonna rise eventually. Hi, doggy. Does he do anything? He's shaking. Ah, that means no horse. Well, it's a good thing that I'm pretty sure I'm close to where I need to be anyway, yeah. They're gonna land me right there, so it'll be fine. Okay, what well, was I supposed to do? Extract a prisoner. Alright, let's go D-Dog. Where is he? There you are. everything. Jeez, man. Landed in a pretty good spot. Found wild animal. Where? Are you pointing towards it? Wait, wait. Wait to keep him busy. Pet the dog. Pet the dog a bit more. He said he found a wild animal. Where? Could it be a... Oh wait, it's on the map. But I don't see the animal. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't matter, let's go. Uh, where am I going? Let's just do this. That should help. Oh, there. Whoa. I wonder what that is. Uh, kind of could be bears. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't want to waste. That's one. That's two. Beautiful. Alright, it was only two. What? Wait, what? A prisoner escaped. Crap. I gotta run. Go, 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 go. Shh, doggy. Shh. Whoa, he can really find the enemies pretty quick. Okay, that guy's useless. Anyone here? Looks like he left his post. Silly. I'll take that invoice. Okay, we're back. Uh, I had to make a cut uh, because I uh, failed at the mission. I was really close, I just, um, the, well, when I get there I'll show you, but basically the prisoner, hmm, he looks like he has a specialist skill, might have to get him. The prisoner is in this particular area, and he's guarded by, like, a guy with a shield, and it, um, made it a little bit difficult, but I think I've got an idea of how to do it now. Okay, there he is. Having the D-Dog for this is really good, because he tells you where all, all the enemies are. See, that guy is really annoying because he's right in the way. Gotcha. Now we're getting somewhere. Now the only problem is... Hang on a sec. Okay, he's useless. The only problem is this prisoner... It's very tricky to... oh, great. You can fall asleep too. There was a... oh, it is a poster. Okay, and... I actually have... Uh, I sort of know what those do now. Come on, how do I... There we go. That can be really annoying. Alright, Fulton Extract. Can I analyze him? Analysis complete. Oh, it's useless. Alright, so now that I've done that, does that complete the mission if I just wait here? Side op, side ops list updated. 
That does. Now how the hell am I gonna get out of here? Okay, there's some materials there, but I'm not gonna bother. There's a poster there, I'm gonna go grab that one too. There was another poster that basically looks like this poster. Damn. Seriously? That second one should have hit him. There we go. Jeez, all these posters in one location. Like, I found three in one go. <laughs> Uh, a friend of mine actually told me what those do, so I, I know how they work, but I... Well, I guess I'll figure it out later, 100%. Yeah, let's get out of here. Come on, D-Dog. Is he behind me? Yep, there he is. Don't want that guy to see me. 51 meters. New record, come on. Stand still for a sec. Ah, that one should have hit him. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's because I hit him with the first few. Alright, beautiful. That's that done. I actually got some... I, Yeah, I think I'm still going to show this off from before. Just two wolves. Um, I guess I should... What the hell? <laughs> Let's give this a quick shot. So, let's have a look. What do we got here? I want to try this. How does this work? If you set up a capture cage, it'll trap small to medium-sized animals. The support unit will handle the extraction, so all you need to do is place the cage. Oh, there's no way that's going to capture. Try placing cages in a variety of places. You can check the animals list on your iDroid to see which animals have been extracted. There's no way that is going to... Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. There's no way that's gonna capture the the wolves behind there. I actually um to explain. Wait. Oh, okay, they're sleeping. Okay, I could get them, but I'm not gonna worry right now. Uh, ow. All right, let's just get out of here. Uh, where is it? Helicopter, pick up. Let's go back. Um. Oh yeah, and I wanted to work out... Yeah, the cardboard box. Let's see how this works. So what can I do with this? I don't think I can do anything with this one yet. Okay, I can look through the little... <laughs> That's funny. Square? Okay, square allows me to pop out. Can I pop back in? No. Okay, it disappears. What else can I do? <laughs> Alright, so I can do that. Um, what else can I do usually? I can stand up. Crouch down. I can go prone. <laughs> oh god. I like that one. I like you can sprint and then go uh, down a cliff. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, let's get rid of it. And let's get out of here. <laughs> I hope I have enough uh, content for this episode. I think I do. Because I had to because I had to make cuts, I don't exactly know how long it is, but I'll um I'll work it out. Maybe I'll have a look at the development or something real soon. And I'm probably going to start cutting out these um, sort of like uh, helicopter trips back to the uh, back to mother base and all that, just because it'll make it make life easier and quicker. But for right now, we'll uh, keep going. Wild animals. Animals can be captured directly by putting them to sleep with a tranquilizer gun in the case of small to mid-sized animals or full and extracting them in the case of large animals. You can also capture small to mid-sized animals based on the capture cage's support weapon. Support unit will then automatically take captured animal animals into protection. Side ops list updated. Okay, so we've got... Maybe I should do one more side up. 
database, let's have a look. Encyclopedia. So the one that I got was a grey wolf. Very common. Of course it is. <laughs> and documentation. Oh, that's right, I got two more posters. So I got the glamour model. And... <laughs> it just kept you waiting, huh? And the Soviet soldier. I think I got that one twice. I'm not 100% sure. Key items. As far as I have no key items, that's pretty interesting. Alright, uh, staff management. I mean, they're always pretty much being managed, so it's fine. Oh, I didn't get that other guy out there. I might have had the specialist ability. I'll check that next time. Uh, Alright, let's do one more quick side up and hope that this enemy doesn't go too ridiculously. Did I say enemy? <laughs> I meant this episode. Uh, oh, that's pretty big. Is there anything else I could do? Extract the wandering. Alright, I guess we're going to do number two. Alright, let's do it. Commence mission. Alright, and what I'll do is I'll um, I'll cut this out uh, until I'm like there and ready to go. If there's something important that happens, I'll leave it in. So I'll bear it back. Alright, let's do this. This is basically immediately after I got out of the helicopter. So all I removed was loading times. Alright, so what do I have to do? Extract the Pashto interpreter. And I'm going to try and extract uh, any guys with specialist skills as well. I think this one would be pretty easy. Okay, he's not one. Oh, what's going on? Oh, crap. Stay down, stay down. Trying to get them to... Okay, let's get this guy out of here. There we go. Analysis complete. Okay, he's useless as well. Oh, hang on. Analysis complete. Okay, there's one with a specialist skill, so I'm gonna try and get him. Analysis complete. That one. Analysis complete. Oh there. <laughs> oh crap. He can see me. Clouds approaching. Damn it. They run over. Analysis complete. Careful. Good. Good. Ah, missed. Gotcha. Okay, good. <laughs> I see a shiny. So a shiny. Yoink. Alright, let's collect everything that we need to collect. No, 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 not him, not him. Get out of here. And apparently he's still asleep. <laughs> Gotta love that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna extract you, just give me a sec. Now, let me have a look. Not that one. This one. I'm gonna extract this one, see what happens. Hopefully he survives. That one doesn't have one. Oh, yay. Hang on, no, this one has one too. Whoa, Distinguished Service Medal. Ah, damn. I think, like, the one that looked like that guy died. I think I actually completed the side up, correct? Oh, what? You gotta, him. You gotta be kidding me. Nope. The prisoner died. Unfreaking believable. <laughs> Ah, uh, I should have bloody helicopter extracted him. Oh well. Actually, this is a worthwhile opportunity to test that theory again after like side ops. So, if I do this, 
what will happen. Okay, so I've got the two soldiers, but the prisoner obviously died, so I have to redo that um, side op. That's okay. I might actually do that off off screen because uh, basically I just I'll just do exactly what I did. Okay, so we're all right. Let's accept rewards. We're gonna end this episode in just a sec. Whoa, that's so much. Okay. There we go. We've got a report. Okay, some more people. Database documentation. I got the Zev, which is a type of sub submachine gun. Okay. Uh, what else? So let's go again here. Send another one out. Okay, there's still three, but it's because I think this new one came along. So let's do that. Unit dispatched. Yeah, these ones are new. Break through, break through the quarter. Okay, 44 minutes, so that's going to be a while. Uh, and side ops list. Okay, I'm going to go do this one again, but I'm going to end the episode. I'll do it off screen. I'll show like what happens at the beginning of the next episode, basically. Oh, damn, we've got a lot of people in combat. That's okay. Oh, I should do one final thing before I go. And that is staff management. I'm supposed to check if there are any troublemakers. How do I do that? Switch display? Yeah, okay, this guy's a troublemaker. And diplomat. Lessons instances of trouble within unit. Okay. So, as long as he's there. Oh, that's cool. Um, Signed to R&D team to enable development of plus cargo 2 tool and other equipment. Okay, so that's what I had. And he's an R&D troublemaker as well. Mm, it's not really good to have troublemakers in there. And he's not that great. I don't know. If If something happens, I think I'll worry about it then. Miller can speak Japanese. Of course. Also, I can speak Russian, English, French, Spanish, German, Italian, and Portuguese. <laughs> That's incredible. Alright, I'm going to leave like that. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching episode 18 of Let's Platinum. Oh, what happened here? Hang on. I know. I know that. I'm building. I'm building the this one already. Alright, let's build this one then too. Two hours. And I guess I'll do this one too. Alright, now. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching episode 18 of Let's Partner Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. My name is Ultima456. I'll see you next time.